Hello, my name is Joshua, and I've been coming to The Way for three and a half years. Before I started coming to The Way, I was growing up always the star athlete, getting a full ride scholarship for football. And in college, I started partying a lot. After I graduated college, my life really took a turn for the worse. I got into drinking a lot, smoking a lot, and doing coke, partying, chasing money. I just started noticing that the more worldly success that I got, the more empty I felt. I just knew this isn't right. There has to be more to life than this. In the meantime, my sister had been going to church. She started telling me about people she was praying for. And at that point, I was at rock bottom and I knew something needed to change. I asked her if I could come to church with her. And I came to church. Pastor Marco was preaching, saying the word of God says. I was sitting there being judgmental, saying that's not the word of God. A man wrote that. And something in my heart told me, keep coming back. Within the first couple of weeks of going back to church, God restored my business. I got a new car, I got my own place, I moved out of my mom's house, all within the first two weeks of going to church, and I knew that I had to be God. There was no other explanation. The seed had been planted, and so when COVID hit, I opened up my Bible for the first time in my life, and one of the first scriptures I read was Jesus saying, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? It was God speaking it directly to my soul, directly to my heart, and I broke down crying Jesus summarized my whole life in that one sentence. And that is the first time God ever spoke to me. I had read uh, about 46 books in the Bible, I think in the first four months, I was hooked. Everything that I had been learning, I started pouring into others. And I wanted to give what I had received from God to other people. And I just believed every single thing that I read and I had faith. And I remember just crying out to God and saying, God, I've seen enough. I know you're real. I know you're here for me. I wanna know you more, set me free. And at that moment, I got hit by the Holy Spirit so hard, I fell to the ground and started speaking in tongues. And I felt a man put his arms around me and I just knew it was Jesus. I seen a vision of chains falling off of me. When I got off that ground, I was never the same man again. All of a sudden, I had a complete transformed heart. I was a new creation in Christ. And after that, I was commissioned. I never looked back. I started leading a discipleship group. I started serving. I started with one person in my discipleship group. It was my little brother. And I was faithful in teaching him the word, faithful in doing a Bible study with him every single week. And now I have over 50 young men under my discipleship group network who are learning the word of God, learning how to fight spiritual warfare. I serve on the altar team. I serve in the cafe here at the church. I serve on the Adopt-A-Block team. I was able to help launch the church out in Los Angeles. I help out with the Holy Warriors. I lead the sports ministry for the, for the youth here in San Bernardino. Our last camp, 22 of those young kids gave their life to Jesus at the start of the camp. I thank God that he placed me here where I am today.